in the stream. So. We head for the sky. It's I hear it. I don't think right. we. I hear it. Fly, it's I, I hear it right. in the stream. If we are crashing down stream again. can hear it. And stream can hear us. Pieces of love, it's all right. Scattered in mud, it's all right. You're giving me a lie again. And tell me what you want. You were right. I, I was like, <laughs> I was, I was like half just kind of vibing. <laughs> uh, it's a great song, honestly. Uh, great song. I so hope good. you all like that. Um, mm, so fucking good, dude. Um, the people are again, asking again. for it again, again, and I'm not mad. At, we we okay. do okay. always do the we, intro. We There's do the initial reaction. Yeah, and then nice. the uh, we're gonna actually pay attention this time okay. instead of just be hype. We'll go yeah, like one more time with feeling. One more yes. time with feeling. We head for the sky. It's all right. Our wings wouldn't fly. It's all right. If we are crashing down again. Pieces of love, it's all right. Scattered in mud, it's all right. You're giving me a lie again. And tell me what you want. It just keeps getting better. Some good shit, you know? Slab. It does slab. <laughs> Desi. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, it's time. You know what time it is. Yeah, I know what time it is. You head in <laughs> to University of Polaris for another day of class. The beginning of your second year Please roll your obligation. Okay, I will. I will do that. Let me figure out what window my character sheet's on. Here it is. Um, so when we roll obligation, uh, I believe you. Do you have one point at everything? I have. I have one point at everything. So yeah, you get to so, pick. And remember, um, 
sun involves scary people or circumstances or is physically mm-hmm. taxing. Mm-hmm. Moon breaks your heart, drives you to despair, and stars put you under social pressure or sets off your anxiety. Um, Choose wisely. Let's go for let's go for broke, baby. I'm gonna pick moon. Okay. Okay. Uh, you get one die. I do. All right. Let me roll it. One D. Uh, it's a big, it's a big two. Take four stress. Fuck. <laughs> we will. Uh, I'm doing the rolls, and then we're gonna go through. Yep. Hmm. Who do we torture next? Tracy. Uh oh. <laughs> You've been selected! <laughs> or to I be should tortured. say, Celeste, please roll your obligation. Hmm, yes. Um... It is your lowest attribute. Uh, I'm pulling up everything. So. I think. I rolled Sun. Okay. What did you get? I rolled a two. Take four oh, stress. No! Not all of us getting Frank, two. Music is a little loud. Is it? Thank you, everyone, yes. for telling me. I will. I'm adjust. drowning you out. Thank you. Chat, let me know if this is better once it adjusts on stream. Um, Freya. Hello. Could you please roll obligation? Could you really quickly go through sun, moon, and... Sun is scary people? Moon sun is... is scary people, circumstances, or is physically taxing. Moon breaks your heart and drives you to despair. And stars put you under social pressure or sets off your anxiety. Uh, and could you all in our Discord type which one you hold for me just so I'm keeping track? Because I have many things. I'll make a, let me make a thread for session notes. Thank you. louder okay let's try to get the nice happy medium people request you do that while i wait for my character sheet to come back radical you can spit split your 32 into one die for everyone so everyone you have an extra die remember yay one d for you yeah, Frank on streaming, it sounded a lot quieter than the rest of us. I just heard it too. Oh, well, that's weird. Yeah. Let me fix you sound, that. You sound loud in Discord, but not on stream. Yeah, it's because I have myself turned down a little bit. I should be, this should be better now, chat. Uh, let me know if I'm too loud or if this is okay. Should be all right. All right, Aki, here, roll 20, okay? We've got betters from chat, so I think we're good. You know, it's where it's at right now. I can see my stats, so I'm gonna say yes. Okay. Um, I'll do. I'll do some. Are, do you have one pip and everything also? I do have one pip and. Okay, then yes. Did we all just do one pip and everything? I think we did. Because yeah. I did two. Okay. <laughs> Although we're Tracy, safe. you have. It looks like we're you have smart. an extra pip in in one of your stars attributes. Well, I'm spe- no, I'm just She's spe- <laughs> She gets an extra. I'm special. Um, yeah, I'm g- I'll get rid of that. Okay. <laughs> uh, go ahead and roll it, Aki, when you're ready. It's it's doing things. Five. I love this song. Okay, oh. only one stress. And uh, the star of the show in game, Evangeline. <laughs> Thanks. Please roll your obligation. Okay. Fuck me. <laughs> okay, I think I will do. Bars. Why not? Uh, bonus time. No. Let's see. Oh, what do you know? I rolled a two. Jeez. Take four stress. I love to be stressed. Uh, as. You all have seen chat. Uh, 
this system, we did some testing, is very brutal. Yeah. Um, the way it runs. Uh, I thought it would not be as... It's more brutal than Blades, I think, in my opinion. <laughs> it is. Yeah. And you know it, what? It is. Whoops. Oh. That is the, whoop, nope, you didn't see that. That wasn't there. Don't, that, that didn't don't look at that. It's not real. It can't hurt it's, you. It's, <laughs> <laughs> you four friends for a while now. What do you say to each other on your first day back at university in year two? As you see each other coming in among the giant herd of students, some of your friends and frenemies waving or eyeing you the from friends. across the promenade as you shuttle off into your various classrooms. Um, well, you know, I am bouncing forward ahead if I see my girly pops. Your girly I've got, pops are around. I've got my little, like, I'm picturing my uh, backpack is, um, it's a slouchy one and it's got like pink, it's like sequined a little bit and it's got a bunch of um, like a uh, cute little um, character keychains. Like, you know, so it's obnoxious anywhere she goes. Like, it's those, like, all the keychains are just hitting each other. Um, and since she does tend to, like, bounce around, it is all the time. <laughs> Truly like when someone has bangles on. It's that kind of energy. Um, and she is bouncing up to the girly pops immediately. So, we're all here. It's the first day. Are we excited? <laughs> <sighs> excited. Nervous. All of the usual feelings, I guess. You're gonna, you're gonna do great. I know that you're gonna be at the top in all your classes, like you always are. Either me or Desi, you know. <laughs> Got a little competition. That's true. Are we gonna take bets again this year? We could, yeah. Mm. Mm. Y'all kind of look like shit today. Did you get sleep? Not really. Honestly. Is it that obvious? Shit. <laughs> I mean, you're, it's, it's the just, and then Freya's just gonna go pat your the side of your head that still maybe has some form of bed head. Just like <laughs> gonna straighten that out with Thank sheer you. friction from my palm. Don't, <sighs> don't touch my hair. I, I won't. Okay. <clears throat> So, what's everybody's schedules look like? Um, I mostly picked morning classes, because, you know, I like to just, like, get everything done, and then I'm good for the rest of the day. Same. Me too! You know me, I'm more of a night owl. Mm. Morning classes. Good. Does that mean our schedule's the same this year? <gasps> Maybe it is. Desi having already been dealing with bouncy Eva all morning because all morning. they're roommates. Uh, she is very focused on JJ right now. Um, mm -hmm. I assume since we've been friends for a while, like, am, am I allowed to pet? Has it been established that we're allowed to pet JJ um, beforehand? Or should yeah, we ask I, every time? I think you should ask every time. Okay. Because JJ, JJ's a service animal, so JJ's yes. doing a job. Yeah. Um, she's kind of, she, it's the same thing every time. Eva is always, she loves JJ and she keeps little treats that you've like approved in her backpack all the time for JJ. Um, so she, she's doing the same little peer over cause she knows that like she has to. Freya, can I, can I, can JJ yeah, have just, a treat? Yeah, JJ can have a treat. Okay. Do, do they need to do a little trick? Can I just. No, 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 you can just give JJ a treat. JJ's okay. been pretty great this morning. Okay, I pull out a little peanut butter treat from my backpack and I, I give it to JJ and give a little, little pat. Mm -hmm. for, for, for just in case. Uh, JJ is a uh, white coat standard poodle with um, a, your fun and fresh lion cut. They're a service animal, they wear the service vest and they're on a leash on campus um, at all times. And um, dope as fuck dog, absolutely radical. <laughs> <laughs> a studious lad. 
Definitely. The goodest boy. Goodest of boys. He's doing his job so well. Mm -hmm. I almost missed the bus today. JJ woke me up. It's great. We do great things. I mean, obviously, you have JJ around. <laughs> so then, since everyone's gonna be done, does that mean, like, at around the same time, does that mean we can do lunch together? We might yeah. be able to. Yeah, yeah. we can probably do that. Where's the enthusiasm, everyone? It's the first day! Desi already, like, knows in book, just, like, already studying, and class hasn't even started yet. My blood sugar's low. Do you need a treat, too? I'm... I have candy in my bag! You know what? Yes. Yes, I do need a treat. I got little strawberry Twizzlers in my bag, girl! You wanna share a Twizzler? Oh my god, even your snacks are stuck. Are you... Are you asking? <laughs> she like falls out. Well, Twizzlers, I don't see. Oh, oh, can I? Can I have one? Oh, oh, enthusiasm! Now that I bring out the treats for everybody, huh? Celeste, you want one? Uh, I'm all right, actually. Okay. I. Uh, okay. yeah. I've already swiped one and put it in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it gives you a little smack, a little gentle mm. smack on the shoulder. Mm. Gives you a stern look, but does not stop you from taking more. Freya wants to say something gay, but withholds it. <laughs> Why would you ever do that? You all <laughs> notice that the courtyard outside is starting to thin out as it's getting closer to class time, and you hear a wonderful PA announcement. Oh, oh it's not here. Oh, no PA no. announcement. It's, oh, it's super I, it's quiet. It's because a uh, wavelink uh, resetting uh, messed me no, up. No. I know my my theatrical timing wavelength. is is ruined forever. It's okay. We're nomin on our Twizzlers. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> not not sponsored. No, no. <laughs> or is it? Should have got, got some candy for the. But stream. we'd be willing. We should have gotten candy for the stream. Yeah. Right. If Valentine's called, candy. Well, if we're not sponsored. Oh, oh. Oh wait, you guys can hear it, the stream can't hear that. I need to fix it again. Oh. Oh, oh they can't hear it. Twizzlers, all... Twizzlers, please sponsor us. Yes. Twizzlers, please sponsor us. We'll gladly eat Twizzlers on stream. We will eat I, Twizzlers I'll... on stream. Every stream. <laughs> um, every stream. Especially yeah, for this one. Because apparently cool. now we've established I'm keeping eggs. Twizzlers in my bag. It's not, it's not planned, Frank. It's all right. I will fix it later and I will replay PA announcement later. It's okay. okay. All right. You all shuffle off to class. Desi, as you are going in to head off to your sciences building, mm -hmm. you see a familiar, unfriendly face. You know, I really think that your hair looked better that way. And she gives you a very cruel, wicked smile. Wow. I think your face looked better before you had work done to it. Aww. You shouldn't have. Hmm. What do you want? Oh, no. I just want to rub in your inadequacies before I finish top of the class again. It's so much fun. Except you won't. No? You... No. You have no idea how easy it is for me to beat you. You have to work so hard and try so hard and you're always just trying so hard. You know, hard work pays off sometimes. I thought you'd have learned that from Freya by now. You know what, Colette? I don't really need this this morning. Oh, you're so cute when you're mad. She turns and walks off. Heels clicking down the hallway. Evangeline. That's me. As you are trying to head off to class, you hear a loud shout over a megaphone. There she is, there she is. And you see a mob of fans with signs saying Evangeline Claire we love you Evangeline we <laughs> love you 
Evangeline is the best. We stand Evangeline oh, in, in your various outfits, your stage outfits, and they all start charging at you, breaking into the school. <laughs> screaming? And they're just- Oh, not ah! screaming. <laughs> trying to chase you down. Um, I'm definitely, look, I've gotten good at dodging this, all right? But normally I have Desi with me to hide me. <laughs> so it is truly the, duck and weave, duck and weave, run, run. If they catch me, I'm going to be late to my class. And then. What is it you're thinking as, uh, as they're chasing you down? Um, I really should have, uh, not, uh, I probably should be around the school with maybe, like, you know, a hired bodyguard or something. Um, and that's something I should speak to my agency about after today. And, of course, you have the money to hire such a thing. Indeed. Uh, I just haven't, because it just seems, to her it seems, like, silly. Like, a like, over... She doesn't want to make a di big deal about anything. Um, but this can't keep going on. <laughs> yeah. And, um, uh, you yeah. feel the stress from that situation a little bit. I'm stressed. <laughs> They're gonna come get me. <laughs> I'm not gonna be stuck taking pictures all morning. <laughs> you narrowly escape with the university security corralling the people before they actually get to you. But the security guards kind of... I do give a of, wave. They kind of give you a dirty look, like, when are you going to fix this type thing? Girl. <laughs> I do give them all a wave, so maybe they'll, uh, like, you know, like, go off with the security. <laughs> Don't give them any trouble, please! <laughs> Thank you! Yeah, I'll okay. A, I'll do, like, a tight, like, I'll blow them a little kiss. Like a boy. <laughs> um, Freya, you set off on a mission like you usually do. You probably get a few business texts from various side hustles throughout the day that you're able to handle with ease. Going through your first few classes, no problem. People! This is not the right music for this. Uh, a moment. Um, yeah. People know to stay away from you. And they're just kind of letting you do your thing. You're, you feel like you've got your subjects mastered. You feel like you know the right people that you need to schmooze with, the people that you need to avoid. You're on a mission. And uh, you think this isn't gonna be that hard. You think that maybe things are starting to look up for you. What are you thinking about as you're going through total focus like a badass through your school day? Thinking. The, usually, they some some universities, you know, they like to drop a couple things like a, maybe a week, maybe less than before the actual school uh, start. Uh, like a syllabus or something, and Freya has the whole syllabus like written down in her own personal notebooks. So she's going through that. Uh, she needs to know exactly what she needs to learn beforehand. Uh, while there's also a couple of sticky notes of like contact information, because you know she's totally doing some bitches homework for money. You know, obviously we we charge, but I'll guarantee you that you get that A. Or I'll give you a B, because you were a bitch to me, and you're lucky that you get to pass. One of those things. So, um, yeah, that's all pretty much I'm, th I'm thinking about. Just, like, how to schedule my time so I then have time to do other people's shit. So I can go then go make, you know, bank. Nice. Uh, also noted on the volumes, everyone, thank you for pointing it out. Working on adjusting. I was so worried I was loud. <laughs> no, you're you're good. Anyways, I'm just trying to make bank, y'all. Desi. Yeah. As 
you are in between classes. You are going through. It's uh, not going great. Colette bothered you. Uh, don't worry, Tracy. I haven't forgotten about you. Mm -hmm. As you are going through the hallway, you see a familiar sight that just kind of brings everything back in a really bad way. You see on the wall in this particular part of the university is kind of known as the wall of the lost as it is filled with dozens and dozens of missing posters some of them with rewards some of them just with desperate pleas and notes attached with cell phone numbers asking for any information and amongst the wall of the lost you see an old friend's face there still your friend jason i see the i see the poster and by now it's all faded and dog-eared and you know, the print's not quite right anymore because it's years old at this point. And I just kind of reach out and touch it. And of course, you recognize the number of the person that has asked for this information. Evangeline's younger sister, Andromeda, yep. who you just kind of... She's... Well, she hasn't been the same since it happened. And with that, I think it makes sense that you would have a little memory of what happened. <laughs> it's about time we've met again. This entire cave is full of blighted. <laughs> Tell me something I don't know. It seems to be changing, though. There... It's miraculous, isn't it? It is, but something's not right. They're getting stronger. And smarter. What do you mean by that? Oh, I've... I fought a few, and they seem to speak now. Speak. That is not good. No, it is not. And that just kind of is on your mind as you go through the day. Yeah, I'm I'm not focused anymore today. Normally the only thing I can think about is schoolwork, but not today. That tracks. Celeste. Your day is also rough. But uh for slightly different reasons. You have had the weight of your friends on you for a while. You've always kind of felt that everything that you're working towards, they're not taking it seriously. And what's weighing on your mind is that you all have been fighting for so much time and here you are, as always, in between class, off to your research laboratory, trying to find more and more information about the blight. And you just feel like they're not going to help you. 
What are you thinking about as you realize the loneliness of what you've been doing? Yeah, it's, um, it's hard, you know? But sometimes I just kind of, I take a moment and I don't blame them, you know? I'm just different. I've never really fit in the same way. And that's okay. You know, I have people that still like me, but I have to do what I have to do. I have to study. I have to learn more. Even if that means just kind of being on my own sometimes. And as per usual, I'm kind of just on my own. Yeah. That's really rough. With that all, you guys, you all go through your first day in relative sadness, stress, worry, with really Freya being the only one that gets through the day unscathed, and you know that the week is just going to continue and feel worse and worse as it goes by. With that, uh, I have a feeling I know what each of you will want to do, but I will ask each of you in turn, what are you spending your downtime doing in between classes and homework? Right there in that library. That's where I am. Yeah, that's I was nice li that library nice. That's, that's a nice library. library. <laughs> that's kind of, it's kind of giving a little bit of Beauty and the Beast energy. I know. No, I'm fine with being on my own in that. <laughs> we could have, we could have, or with somebody else. Um, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I, uh, mm -hmm. no, honestly, in, in Celeste's downtime, she'll probably just be reading, studying. You don't get come to lunch. Oh, right. Lunch. You don't <laughs> have text. to. Maybe, I text maybe everybody lunch. in our group chat oh, yeah, about right. lunch. We can text in this game. Maybe lunch isn't bumped. that important to you compared to saving the world. But okay. that's up to you. I might cry, though. <laughs> what do you text everyone in the group chat? Okay, I hope everybody's ready. Because I brought special treats that I made specifically for everybody for lunch so i hope you're all out in the um uh common area or i'm gonna be really upset and she put a little heart emoji and then a big eye emoji <laughs> <laughs> like a please <laughs> you know the one would you say that you are expressing yourself evangeline claire i i am please roll express <sighs> i am that definitely is. I would say also um, with context in this text, this is typically how she texts you all. You know she will not be upset if you don't come um, because there have been times before, previous, where you have not. And uh, she will bring it to you later. <laughs> so all that to say. It won't genuinely hurt her feelings, but she does want to see. All right, express. I assume I just. Um, I uh, my position is not risky. I assume. No, it's uh, it's it's controlled. controlled. It, this for downtime, it doesn't really matter much. You're not in it's any standard. danger. However, uh, you have disadvantage, so you may want to. You could use your bonus die that you have been gifted or you could push yourself or you could just uh, leave it in the gods hands I'll, I'll leave it um, yeah I'll just see I'll just see what happens okay. uh, so. wait do we have bonus die we have we each have one from radical radical oh, donated thanks, to give Rad. everyone a die thanks rad I'm gonna mark that in my notebook um then I guess I actually don't know how to do disadvantage in roll twenty, so I guess I'll just roll it twice. Uh, it should it should do it automatically if you just click. Um, it'll roll the two D. We'll oh, it did. Oh, that's so sad. 
That's so sad. You know, I rolled a six and a one. You kind of think that maybe she this is just perfunctory. She's only asking you to get together because you've all done it so long. But does she even really want you there? Or is it just I kind of that. to feed her ego? Oh, shut the fuck up, Frank. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> um, I look down at the text and I'm like, if I don't go, she's never going to let me hear the end of it. I know her too well. <laughs> and I text back, I'm like, yeah, I'm on my way. See you in a minute. She immediately hearts the message. Uh, like as soon as you sent it. I, she I was feel, staring at her phone waiting. I, I feel uh, a pang, uh, but also uncomfortable. <laughs> Everyone else, uh, what are your thoughts about lunch together? Um, Celeste will come, um, but she may be late. <laughs> she'll be tardy because she'll kind of forget. She's a little spacey, so mm. she might be like be Is like. Is that the usual for Celeste? Yes, I think so. Okay. Um, okay. So you no. probably would expect like okay, like. She's late, but that doesn't mean she's not coming. Um, so yeah, she'll probably arrive later. Freya's going to lunch. Okay. Um, yeah, it's it's not a big deal for her. She she's just um, she's somebody who can walk and work, can also eat lunch and work. You know, multitasker by habit. Um, so these things are not much of a bother for her. She does have. Um, like, uh, what do you call it? Probably a meal or something like that. Smaller, but like something for JJ as well. And something JJ that's is... affordable. Yeah. Um, we, we a kibble kind of family. Just kibble. I don't care. It's, it's gonna be that big ass bag. It's probably many big ass bags, if we're being honest. I go to like Costco and buy in bulk. So that way I don't have to worry about it for like several months but like also big dog eats a lot so i think freya tried to do the two meal a day you know breakfast big breakfast big dinner um kind of thing and then she's like oh, i can't do it it feels bad so we're stuck with three semi-proportionate meals for a big <laughs> dog yeah. what kind of restaurant would you take people to eva um, something cute and fairly trendy. Um, it's definitely very aesthetic. Um, <laughs> uh, so she can take a very cute little picture. Um, she's very keen on taking pictures together. Um, obviously she takes lots of photos cause it's a, a, a little bit part of her job. But the ones of you guys, she never posts. Would you like but to elaborate why? She does <laughs> print them. She's never elaborated unless someone has ever asked her. But she does specifically print them out. She is a scrapbooking girly. Mm. So she prints them all out and she decorates a little scrapbook. You would know this by now. Um, but photos are very important to her. They're a very sentimental thing. Um, for reasons. Uh, <laughs> um, but probably she's gotten there early. Um, I would say we've, they've all been friends for a while. So she usually orders, she knows that she is always early and she kind of as she's pulled out the thing that she has made and she has ordered a few other treats because she loves to share. Um, so there's already food on the table. Like, and she's just like waiting by herself, her little bag ready. And she's got enough chairs for everybody. Celeste, as you are leaving, as you are late, you hear the second PA, which chat, I hope I got it this time. Please remember to report any arcane activity to your ASA officer. 
Carrying, concealing, or withholding information about a soul gem is a serious offense and may result in criminal penalties including imprisonment, forced labor, or execution. Those who report such offenses will be rewarded. Thank you for your cooperation, and as always, may ambition guide you. As you have heard this hundreds of times, I imagine you just hey, kind I'm of sigh and you. roll with it. <laughs> she kind of okay. words, she words the line the way he <laughs> says it in every PA, may ambition guide you, and then <laughs> strolls out. <laughs> Ooh, this is a good opportunity. As you are doing that, you see a familiar sight. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. <sighs> Great. Running late somewhere, Celeste. Hi, Orion. Um, yeah, actually, I have somewhere to be. Sorry. You've been in the library, huh? Yeah. That's where I am most days. It's too bad you picked the wrong side. Please don't make me pay a toll to try to get out again. I'm not going to hurt you, Celeste. I just... I don't think any of them really take all this seriously. In what way? He points up, like, indicating the PA announcement that there's things more important than school, maybe. I think people do. It's just... You kind of become numb to it after a while. And I suppose your friend's idea about that is to go to a pop concert or star in one. People still need happiness. Despite everything. Yeah. That pile of books and 15 minutes late to lunch. You happy, Celeste? Look, I'm not here for you to analyze my current life choices. And she's like scrambling. You can, you notice her like kind of like definitely in an awkward kind of stance, kind of like her character art where she has her hand on her arm and the book, you see her shuffle it a little bit um, and shift in her own like awkwardness. Um, and he's and not, just, he's not totally oblivious. He will like... Give her her way out since she seems to be searching for one. Yeah. Well, have a nice day, I guess. You've got my number if you change your mind. She kind of scowls at him and walks past them and just, like, hurries away. And um, you hear him as you're running. He gets out his phone. And he's like, well, Andy, some things just always stay the same. And then you go and join your friends for lunch. She, uh, you see Celeste walk in and kind of fix her posture a little bit. Her, her little beret is like slanted from her shuffling very quickly. So she puts it back in place and, uh, walks in, uh, Hey, hey, everybody. Sorry, uh, a little late. <laughs> oh, hi. Oh, hi. it's okay. It, I, you're just on Celeste time. Yeah, um, hopefully I, the food isn't cold. No, no, I got you something cold. That way oh. it wouldn't be cold when, well, it would be cold when you got here, but that's the point. <laughs> <sighs> Thanks, Eva, you're always thinking ahead. <laughs> I try. <laughs> well, sit, sit, please. Tell us about what you've been doing in your day. Uh, just, you know, getting prepped for the semester. Um, 
reading books and things. Have you guys had a good day so far? Hopefully. Pretty chill. Not great. Oh, not great. Yeah, I had to deal with Colette today. It's just some bullshit. Same old, same old. Is she being oh. mean again? When is she not? You know, I think she just really needs a friend. Well, she's got friends. Maybe she should talk to them instead of me. She's got some weird thing with you. You know, oh. I could talk to her for you if you want. No. Or Freya. I... Freya could probably talk to her, right? N yeah, I don't I, mind. I can handle her. It's fine. Okay, well. And you'll notice that Desi has very specifically not sat next to Eva. She's sitting next to Freya. Mm -hmm. I'll give you a look and just be like, well, if you. I mean, if people are bothering you, I'm really, really good at being a bitch. I'm actually the best at it. Well, if yeah. I need somebody to be more of a bitch than I already am to her, I will definitely call you first. I'm just so tired of it, you know? It's ridiculous. She's always been this way. I never did anything to her. And now at this point, I'm just done taking it sitting down, you know? She's probably just jealous. Probably, I guess. Probably. I don't know what she has to be jealous of, but whatever. What do you mean? You're the best at everything. You're the top of the class. You... Sinks, sinks slowly in chair, just like Her, <laughs> you. You know, are super cute, and you know, have a bunch of friends who love you. She doesn't have any of that. Of course, she's jealous. Who wouldn't be? I stare at Celeste like we're out in the office. <laughs> when I. <laughs> I stare back. <laughs> <laughs> when when she calls Desi cute, she just kind of looks down at her phone like mm. me. I'm also looking at the camera now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I think Eva has a point. I think there's definitely some jealousy in there. Um, whatever it may be, it could be yeah. Maybe she's actually super really lonely. Uh, uh, or, you know, she wants to be really smart, and she's not. So, whatever. Well, I mean, it's not my fault. Shrugs. Just, I, I don't it, get why she's making it my problem that it, she feels inadequate really, or whatever. Yeah, it's really not your fault. I yeah. wouldn't pay much. I mean, it's hard to say don't pay attention to it. I mean, uh, she's, she's literally like seeks, walking. She seeks me out, man. Like, it's... Oh, I know those feels. Ugh. Oh, yeah. do you hate you when a person. A yes. Did you, do you ever just feel like? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. What's wrong? What happened with you? I Somebody mean, messing with you? Uh, Your stalker. It's, it's yeah, Orion. Like he just like, I feel like he just seeks me out. Like he just comes and like tries to like get at my little things you know like he'll he'll try to point out things that make me feel i don't know insecure or something you want me to beat me you want me to beat him up for you <laughs> oh, i beat him up for you <sighs> freya you can't be our attack our attack dog for every i mean you can <laughs> you can <laughs> you can be our attack dog for everything but <sighs> i don't know i feel like i i need to for once, fight my battle with him on my own or something. I don't know. Two things. Could I have all of you just roll perceive for me now? Because there's mm. stuff going on in this Are place. Are they here? I just, I just want you to <laughs> the bitches. see how much you pick up. If I don't have any pips, so I roll two die and take the lower. Yes. And while you all are doing that, and you can tell me, uh, Eva, this conversation reminds you of something. Stop that. Hey, stop. That's forbidden. Why is my favorite muse crying? Forbidden. I rolled a two on my perceivable. It's it just a lot, you know? <laughs> what is? Well, it's not what I wanted. And what did you want? I was hoping for a little higher. I, I mean, thought I 
What did you get? As I resize it improperly. Let me see. And she'll show him. Top 20%? Go Eva, look at that. Well, I, it's not, uh, I guess it is all right. It's good. That No, that's great, Eva. Yeah. Now you can, look, you're gonna graduate, you're gonna go to college, you're gonna get that music therapy degree and you're gonna help people. That's what I want. I know it is. And you can do it now. I know, but here I am sitting thinking about myself and I didn't even ask about how it turned out, your midterm, your retake. I got a C plus. Oh my God. I know, right? See, you can do stuff when you put your mind to it. Mm. Yeah, but I think this is the end of school for me. Yeah. You'll go on and do great stuff and I'll just remain here in Polaris cleaning toilets. I don't know. What? I look, just... I, look, I, I, it does, I don't matter. You matter, Eva. She just looks at you like you're crazy. We can both matter. Those two things can both exist. The I mean, fact yeah, that... We, we need toilets cleaned. You are not just... You're not just... She stops. That's not all you are. Your specialty is in academics, but... It's not... Right that we do that. No. Your value is so much more than how good you are at math or taking tests. You're a good person and a good friend. Well, You're good with people. Why don't they test us on that? I... I... I agree, but that's not how the world works, is it? And now she's sad. <laughs> but it's more just kind of zoning out of the conversation, like picking at her little strawberry shortcake she got. That's what she, that's what she made everybody, by the way. Wait, what did you make? Little strawberry shortcake. I mean, I ordered food oh. from the cafe too, but she did hand make some, like, so a little strawberry shortcake to, to share with everybody. Just picking at it, listening. What did you all roll on your perceive? Uh, I I I got a big old one. Okay. I got a uh, six. Oh I got a two. Awesome. Oh, am I gonna eclipse now? No, 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 no. no. This is not a stress <laughs> roll. Oh, okay. Um. Freya, what did you roll? Five. Okay. Nice. Uh, Freya, you notice the person, but don't recognize them. Uh, Celeste, you recognize the person. Uh, you were never really friends with this person, but you know of them. You see Evelyn Hawthorne, who's a pretty empathetic and compassionate person. Uh, she's done a lot of work for charity, nonprofits. She donates a lot of her time. She's just kind of tucked in the corner of a restaurant and she's occasionally glancing up at you, but she has notebooks sitting, um, sitting on the table with her lunch there. And she's just like kind of furiously writing notes in between taking bites of her food. You can do that with what you will, um, but that is what you, you both see this happening. Uh, why does that person look familiar over there? Oh, um, Evelyn Hawthorne, right. You guys know her? The, like, super helpful person in town? I don't know. I, I try to keep up with things, but... Uh... Do you all would know you would know of her. You may not be. You can decide how close your characters are with her, uh, but you would all know who she is. Uh, 
and so sorry she's like a philanthropist or like what was she's a she's was? a student but she's a philanthropist okay. also she donates a ton of her time okay to charities she's mm. kind of a bleeding heart uh do i know of like her parents are her parents like that as well uh, no, her parents are actually somewhat wealthy and kind of hyper capitalist. Oh. Did she ever need me to do work for her? Um would you have would you have wanted to do work for her? Like Only for if free? she's paying. Then no. No, I don't. No. If she if, if it's free, you fuck off. You, no, you might have you might have run across her and yeah, you she couldn't offer any money, so you said no. I've, I've heard of her, but uh, that's about it. Hmm. Just notice she seems kind of busy and in her in her zone over there. Um. Hmm. Um. I don't know if she's alone. I was like, maybe we could invite her to like. You could. She is something. alone. That's up to you. You don't alone? have to. Uh, actually, she looks like she's busy. Maybe we don't. Um, you did. You did see her get a little excited. Like, we need someone to come over and be friends. <laughs> and, and and immediately like sinks back in her chair. Like, okay, I'm <laughs> all right. Uh. Yeah, uh, you were saying, Orion, right? Oh, right, right. Yeah, yeah. He was cornering um, you. Yeah, he was just asking like personal questions and stuff, and so, like, like when's when's he gonna like ask you out? Oh gosh, I don't. I don't. <laughs> you know, she's gonna seem like he wants to date you. I don't yeah, think so. Creepy. Oh, I don't, he definitely does. I think he just can't stand me, and he just has to call call me out all the time you know mm, like I that he thinks you're cute that's I what know. i think i, I think don't know very mace <laughs> yeah, you should probably do that too just in case he's not like you know it's either he wants to date you wholesome or he wants to date you negative and you should be carrying mace yeah I guess. Do you want me to come to the library with you next time? Yeah, maybe that's a good idea. Okay. Hmm. <sighs> you all. Um, I'm like oh, actively ahead. doodling in my notebook while we're talking, like writing equations. Yeah. Pages and pages of them. You guys have a meal, you keep talking, but, uh, but we're gonna go to break, but before we do, Desi, that conversation reminds you of something. <gasps> no, no, not again! Emotional damage! <laughs> oh my god, it's because I rolled so bad. It's all coming back. Oh my god. Such a hard time talking to her. Have you looked at her? Yeah, every day. Oh god. Every day for four years. Yeah, yeah, same, just from, you know, away yeah i know everyone knows maybe not everyone but at least i know please don't say everyone knows i'm mortified <laughs> look, oh, look shit. there's a reason she's inviting you don't think too much of it right probably just wants to be friends that's totally fine <laughs> better than nothing H have have a little courage, Des. <laughs> hmm. She's inviting you for a reason, and I mean that. Yeah. She didn't invite me personally. I'm sure she didn't invite Celeste or Alexi personally. <laughs> Desi just clams up. <laughs> it's just like words, like nonverbal uh, uh, for a uh, second, just like. Uh, <laughs> yes. Okay, it's it's fine. You'll go to the you go to the the concert. Is it a concert? You go to the yeah, concert, concert, looking fly as hell, and just talk to her. Just say, "Yep." Just just when she's done, just be like, "You were amazing." Just say that. 
takes notes and phone. <laughs> and and yeah, it's just nervous. Yeah, don't look at your phone and say, you were amazing. Just, no, I wouldn't do that. What are you talking about? Puts just, phone in back pocket. <laughs> just, just naturally say, Evangeline, you were amazing. I will try it. to remember that in the moment. Here's the thing. I look at her and all the words go away. So it's a little awkward. It's a little weird. I don't normally like people all that much. So this is weird for me. I mean, other than you, but no. friends. We're bros. Yeah. But you'll you'll do great. Yep. Talk to her. Super easy. We're already you, friends. You, Evangeline, you were amazing. Come on, try it on me. I know I don't, I don't have, like, luscious pink hair and super bubbly, <laughs> but, but just, yeah, look at me and say... Okay. Evangeline? Oh, God. Evangeline, yes. you yes, were... Yes, Desi? You were... Oh, God! Let me try the voice! You're... You were amazing! Oh, thank you so much! I'm so glad you're here! And oh, God, you're hugging here. me now! Yeah. yeah, and that's how it's gonna go. <laughs> oh, God, she probably will hug me, too! Awkward! <laughs> And with that, we'll be back in about 10 minutes, everyone. Uh, we'll sit with see, that gag. We'll, you sit with that gag. Enjoy panic, the gag. And uh, we will see you <laughs> soon. Be right back. Yucky. Yeah, you want to disagree? Hello, everyone. No. Welcome back. I hope you're enjoying everything so far. It is wonderful to be on the other side of the break. We are going to uh, what many people who are familiar with Blaze in the Dark would know, uh, downtime activities. Um, I think we can start probably with Celeste because you know yep. what you were doing for one of them is investigating the Blight. Am I correct? Yes, I would like to investigate the Blight. So as I am uh, still learning also, I want to make sure I get this right. So me a moment to make sure I tell you the right thing. Uh, but tell me how you would be investigating, not mechanically, narratively. What have you been doing? What are you doing? Um, would it make sense to investigate it in books? Like, is there, like, I know I've probably done a lot of that already, so I don't know if I've, like, exhausted that option and have to kind of resort to other options, but I think that's the first thing I would think of is like I think any that sort that of is research. Fine. Um you could look into anything um you know that the blight is tied to soul gems and it did mm -hmm. not appear until after soul gems were discovered. So mm -hmm. you could look for some connection to them. You could look at historical documents about when the blight first appeared. Um, but as you know, um, news to the audience, so just have to drop this nugget, that history is a forbidden subject. So you will have to use alternative means to find that out, which is possible. Uh, it just might be a little bit harder than it normally would, buy. would be. You can't just walk into university and say, hello, I would like all of your books on history about... Uh, the beginning of mm. the founding of the soul stones soul gems yeah. excuse me. okay um yeah i guess i guess that's mm, mm, breaking the rules um mm -hmm. but you break uh, the rules by existing true that is true um but in how i am now i try to be as good goody two shoes as i can be but i guess sometimes you can't always so um yeah maybe i'll try to find a place where i can get access to more confidential archives of things um so probably not at school maybe somewhere else okay so i'm gonna say two things um 
I think that this is a, the way you described it, a long-term project to find a place that has this and then mm -hmm. gather information to actually investigate. Um, yeah. Does that sound fair? I like that. So yes. it'll be kind of a two-parter. So give me, so um, I think this is a pretty small clock. So we'll say four ticks. Um, and let me look at your sheet. I'm trying to think of the best way you to do this. Uh, I think you could probably use Analyze for this. One of the things that you're good trying to understand where in the city something like this might be. Okay. Do you, does that sound like a plan? I think so. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Okay. Whenever okay. you are ready, go ahead and roll. Oh. <clears throat> I just roll Analyze, right? Mm -hmm. And you can, but you remember, uh, long-term projects, you remember how it works, right? Six for four ticks, four or five for three ticks, a failure for two ticks. You remember this? It's different from blades. Mm -hmm. It's more, but so if you want to okay. add dice or push yourself or anything else. Right. I think I'll just do a standard roll for this one. I'm okay. not quite there yet. To, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Go mm -hmm. ahead. Uh, do, 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 do. A six. Okay. You are able to, in one, over the course of the week, uh, I need different music for this because this is a little creepy. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Yeah, sure, this one will work. Please hold. You spend time going over the city, going through the city state of Polaris and thinking if I was going to find historical documents about the foundation of the blight, when the soul gems were discovered about the war, where would you do it? And you think, well, probably in the old places that have been figuratively or literally buried and you go underground through parts of the city that was previously ruined by war. And you find an old library with paper books. You have to go in by light of cell phone or candlelight. You can flavor that how you would have done. And you find a section of a library that is all about the history of the soul gems where they came from and you start reading and now i would like you to gather information with your second downtime activity to spend time with these books yep. that you have found and this is also i believe analyze unless you think it is differently but analyze makes the most sense to me i would agree i think it's analyze would you like to uh, use a die or push yourself or take a poison promise for this also I or no. think same. I'm just going to do a standard roll um, okay. for this one. Oh, well, a five. Okay, so that's going to be three ticks in the investigation chart, which, let's see, can I, can I do this live? I think I can do this live. Give me a moment. Three ticks in the Hey, it worked. You can see it updated on on stream oh nice <clears throat> you find out that it was very soon after the war thankfully society had advanced to the point that there was a very brief war but then all of the countries that were around decided to just share the information about who had the soul gems with each other and agreed no one was going to fight over them, there was treatises signed and left it at that. And it ended up being kind of a cold war where the different countries, the superpowers, U.S., China, um, probably then Iran, Saudi Arabia, and Europe, all just kind of said, we all have our gems that we've discovered all over the world and we're just going to leave each other alone. 
The more important thing was halting climate change at the time. And for a moment, there actually was peace. And then about a year later, the blight started appearing in all of the same places that the soul gems were discovered. And that list of people that had the soul gems that was shared, that was online, that all of the different countries' defense departments had, led to a purge. And they executed all of their soul gem holders because the historians, paleontologists, geologists, all could not deny that the blight occurred in the exact same areas in the same time periods correlated to when the gems were discovered. But Damn. as you all know, that did not end the blight. And to find out more, you would spend days in between classes, after classes, reading about all of this and understanding the history. It's pretty heavy, but that's what you yeah. find out. Okay. Damn. Does anyone else have a downtime? <laughs> Mine seems silly now. <laughs> no. no. Orion was no, right. No. Orion was right. No. 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 Okay. Uh, no. I have two ideas. So, Momo, will you roll a die for me and tell me if it's even or odd? Oh, chat. Yeah, I will. Um, yeah, I will. I can do it right now. Actually, I'll roll it first in one minute. I'm just going to do a d6. I rolled a four. Okay. Even. Even. Okay. Even it is then. Uh, I would Thank like you. to work on a long term project. What project would you like to work on? Did I just miss out uh, on the uh, Yeah, you did. Um. <laughs> Don't uh, worry, my idea was gay. Oh, okay. Um, I am hoping to... It, it will probably require me being, like, in the dorm room or somewhere where I can, like, privately, like, math things out. And I'm probably sitting on the floor uh, in the dorm room, and I have... Um, like, we can use our powers when we're not transcended, right? A little bit? Um, or do we have to be transcended? You have to be it? transcended to use your powers. To do anything okay. that a human could not do normally. Okay. So I, uh, I will be, like, working on, like, building the timeline that I'm in currently. The timeline that we are in right now in this, in this game. Mm -hmm. uh, and I am trying to put together like the different pieces that I'm finding in this timeline to see if this is the one or not. That is very interesting. Okay. Fuck, that's heavy. Uh, <laughs> I think... Uh, it's projections. It's projections. I would say this, this so could fucked. be analyze or... <laughs> empathize probably uh i was hoping for analyze so if that's okay, okay i would like to do that sure okay. um so before we get there what are you trying you are trying to discover if this is the one and yeah, you're I'm just trying going discover... and you're doing that by comparing all the actions of the previous timelines and understanding the differences how you've mm -hmm. acted how other people have acted to understand mm -hmm. will this be the good ending yeah, and I want to talk about, um, well, not talk about, but I want to, like, consider, like, the difference in this timeline, uh, the glaringly obvious one, uh, which is we have a different member in our group now in this yes. timeline. I would say this is a 8-tick clock. Okay. Uh, 
happen? The clocks are um, beginning. The clocks are beginning. Yeah, they are. All Sweats. right, I'm going to roll my analyze, right? Yep. Yes, that's a six. Okay. That's um, fucking nice. I'm going to, because I don't have that's it wrong. on screen chat, um, which there is not enough real estate for all the stuff. Um, so let's say clock. Is this the right timeline? Four of eight. Mm. I don't like that. Interesting. Um, so what you subscribe. learn is you're not 100% sure if this is the right timeline or not, but the person in question seems safe, but Freya and JJ are an anomaly. They have helped you in some ways. They make up for a lot of your deficiencies as a group. Mm -hmm. They are supportive. They are, as their playbook implies, a guardian and protector of you all. Will that lead to salvation or happiness? More analysis required. Yeah, I feel like I'm probably like building like I'm building this through like equations and probabilities. Probably I'm mathing this out. I'm a math girly. Uh, that's that's the math girly, which is mm -hmm. so different from how I am IRL. Um, <laughs> um, and what I what does Desi have... what does Desi think about this timeline so oh. far? seeing differences in the people we interact with and differences in how we are acting in this timeline like we didn't we didn't really keep our status as magical girls secret for as long in this timeline and we've been working together for a while in this timeline um compared to the other two mm -hmm. uh and it is, I am cautiously somewhat optimistic because of the differences. Because I wasn't expecting this timeline to be really very much different, if at, at all different, than the last two. Yeah, but you still weren't strong enough. Yeah, and that's that's the part I'm somehow on. I think we need more than just the two of us, but we can give oh, it a shit. try. We're doing another flashback before it gets any worse. I don't suppose you have any other friends you could call. Do I look like the kind of person who works with others? You're working with me. It's only because we both happen to be here. Hmm. Peculiar, isn't it? It is. Put a smile on your face, time person. I'm sure we'll be out of here in no time. Yeah. Oh, yes. What can I call you? Aeon. Eon. It's beautiful. Yeah. Thanks, I guess. You're welcome. Anyway, it looks like that big bulb in the middle is somehow spreading up, uh, spreading across this cavern. Looks Not like sure it. if it is the root or that is just the tip. Let's just get rid of it. What do you have in mind? Well, most of my powers aren't very combat oriented, so I suppose good old fashioned brute force will do. Feel attacked. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Why am I getting all the sad flashbacks today? Things are happening. Ah! Well, I was feeling optimistic. Now, not so much. <laughs> you said, I'm feeling optimistic, Frank. Yeah? Hit the button. The sad button. Truly do the thing. Um, do you want to go ahead with your second activity, Desi, or pass the pass the ball to someone else? Um, I'm going to hold on to my second activity just in case. 
Eva or Freya? I have one that gay. includes Freya. Oh, okay. okay. Even better. Yeah. There you go. Um, you will receive a text, Freya. Um, not in our group chat. Separately from Eva. Um, hey, I know you're busy, but I also know that you're really good at multitasking. Um, there's kind of like a really important thing I need to talk to you about. If you could meet me like, I don't know, outside me and Desi's dorm room, like at the front steps. And she does like the please emoji. <laughs> what time? Question mark, question mark, question mark. How, like <laughs> right now? Give me five minutes. And... And then it, you see, like, the bubbles appear? Yeah. And they disappear, and they appear, and they disappear. <laughs> and then you get a running emoji. Because Freya wasn't sure what it was called. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Oh my god. Perfect. She is sitting, like... She hasn't went into the dorm room, but she's just, like, kind of outside on the steps, sitting, waiting for you, looking at her phone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And she'll kind of, like, over. glance up. Yeah, come over with JJ. Guys, oh, you're fast. You actually caught me on my walk time, so we're we're good. Oh, perfect. I'm 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 glad. I have the world's biggest favor to ask you, and I'll compensate you. Okay. She like puts her hand up, like I'll compensate, I'll, I'll compensate you. <laughs> I promise. What, um, what what is it? So you know how you do that thing for money where you like do people stuff for them like they're great like they're work yeah. homework and stuff yeah well after getting my first day um done um there's like i may have picked up like one class too many but it's only because my parents asked me to take it but i really need to pass it but it kind of like flows into like my choreography time um could I pay you to, if I just, I'll sit in the classes, um, and I'll pass, like, I can give, brief you on the class, but, like, could you just write the paper for me? Like, all of them? Yeah, okay, so what grade are you looking for? Best you can get. Best you can get? Okay, so how I work is C's are, like, 20 bucks, uh, B's are 50 bucks, A's are 75, but if you want above What about a, 100 bucks? Yeah, uh, above an A, <laughs> so I can do that. Perfect for like all my papers for this for the rest of the semester. It will be a hundred per paper. Oh, that's fine. Okay, we're good. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. That's fine. Yeah, you're not the only person who who does this. As long no. as you give me, you know, the material, so that way I'm not like going. Well, like, yeah, I don't expect blind. you to like work off of nothing, but also like. You're one of my best friends. I don't want to overload you. Like, can I give you something else that just seems like so low? You can tip me. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm good with anything. Um, <gasps> okay. It's, 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 yeah, it's it's fine. It's good. As long as you get me the materials, I'll be fine. I can keep I can keep it working. You have to also get me deadlines and. Um, I don't normally request for extensions, but if I tell you I need an extension, you gotta go and request for an extension. Or else yeah. this is gonna like, it's, it's gonna fuck everybody up. No, I don't wanna overwhelm you at all. So like, you just let me know what you need and I'll do it. Okay. You're doing me the hugest favor. So like, whatever you need, however much you need, tell me, cause this is ah, way too much. <laughs> I Which probably shouldn't have done. Um, so it's a really niche one. <laughs> um, but my dad said that it would be well, I guess it's not niche, it's more just what he wants for me, even though I really don't think I need it. Um, it's it's just like um and she, I'm I'm trying to think of the word, but it's like some kind of like niche like microeconomics class like because her father like her mother is a professor her father is a politician mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so it's something that only someone who is going into politics probably would need obviously eve is not doing that 
Probably just poli sci. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. All right, that seems fine. Okay. Yeah. I will uh definitely get you all the notes. The problem isn't so much me attending the class, it's just you know, doing the actual work associated. But I'm a really good note taker. I can, I have a little dedicated notebook and everything for it, and I'll take all the notes and hand them off to you. Um, it's more just so the, the time that I've allotted in my schedule to do said homework, I really need for my job. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fine with me. Just, <gasps> but once again, make sure you let me know as far in advance as you can. Okay. Definitely. You're the best. I love you a lot. Ah! <laughs> and she will get up and she will squeeze you very hard. I will I will accept the hug. <laughs> That's my phone. <laughs> <laughs> don't be alarmed by the buzzing. That's fucking Jim from like, I don't know, AP English? Oh, he's, he's 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 still he's still coming coming to see you, huh? Yeah, because I got him to pass last year, so... Raving reviews. How do you... She kind of looks at you a little... Like, she pulls back and just, like... Looks at you a bit more seriously. How do you do all this? You're so impressive to me. I have excellent time management skills. I know that. You're always prompt. As we just saw. I meant... Mentally? <laughs> oh, um... So I have an agenda, right? And uh, this is just like <laughs> <Hold> one... On. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm like, this is just one agenda. I technically have another agenda on my phone. Um, and then I have the agenda that the school provides us. So I have three agendas. And um, eventually I just separate things that just work out and I just time myself um, as well. Uh, also, a lot of the people have problems in the exact same subject. And um, as long as I get, yeah, as long as I get really creative with my wordplay, um, no plagiarism. Right. No, I meant more like, how do you have time for yourself? like so much multitasking um yeah uh -huh. and I knit on the commute uh, you should we should do something soon that remind we should plan something like I don't know but we should <laughs> plan a celebration with the four of us we should go out somewhere. Go out somewhere. Okay. Can I do my downtime activity? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, you may. What would you I like to do? I have a disagreement. <laughs> <gasps> no. Oh. We have the <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I'm ready. We will RP first. Uh, actually, I think we need to roll before we RP. Because Is that a connection? Uh, did that work as a yes. connection? No. What I just oh. did? No, you can't do that okay. in this game. I, okay. Uh, so, uh, give me a moment. <laughs> I'm rereading this. Hang on. Oh, maybe make a connection would be, um, when we do our what are you argue what do you Make want it. to have a disagreement about uh freya hanging out connection. okay let's uh let's play this out a little bit more and then we will handle it mechanically continue okay take a big big breath and go all right listen here it's looking when we hung out in the summer that was in the summer i didn't have that much work to do or school to do excluding um like cram school now it's during school so not just you but me and um daisy and celeste and like everybody else relatively our age is probably in school right now and we don't exactly have all the time in the world to hang out you asked how i take care of myself this is how i'm gonna establish a boundary here 
I like hanging out with you during school. And so I'll hang out with you during school. And then afterwards, I'm gonna go home. Unless we have a mission. Then I'd love to hang out with you during that mission. And come like breaks, you know, the big long week breaks, like winter break or spring break or summer break. Yeah, sure, then we can hang out. I don't got time for that otherwise. She's not saying anything. She's nodding. She's listening to you very attentively. But there is a there's pout forming on her face. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. And you can pout if you want to. But this is just how it's going to work. And um, that's how I work. Right. Uh huh. Okay. Well, um. Heard loud and clear. I will Thank not bother you. you. Wonderful. She gives a smile and like a. Okay. Well. I'll I'll see you. Do you want me to pay you now? Um. No. Not unless you actually have like a paper coming up, and then like we can meet up. Do you you, you give me what I need like money and material wise I'll get it all done um, try to give you a deadline for it or, and by that I mean like I'll try to get it done before your deadline so then it's up to you to submit it and you can make it you know if you wanted to add stuff to it you mm -hmm. can do that yeah I'll also let you know ahead of time if it gets like I don't know like too crowded or something like that yeah of course, no, yeah, you just, yeah, I'm, it, it'll probably be a while before I actually have any work I have to turn in. Um, yes, and then should be good. So, pause. Awesome. Mechanically, to me, this sounds like Defy uh, is what Freya is doing. Is that correct? Yeah. Uh, and uh, you will resist that with Sun. Uh, okay. Evangeline. So Freya will roll Sun and you will resist, or sorry, Freya will roll Defy and you will resist with Sun. Okay. I got a three. I got a four. Okay. Freya will gain three links with Evangeline. Evangeline will gain one link with Freya. Okay. You each will add a stress on your sheet. Uh, and then I believe, give me a moment. This worked out so perfectly. This leads into the next thing. Uh -oh. Look at us. Game in the system. Uh -oh. <laughs> I'm gonna be gay after this. Mama, I posted Sorry, a screenshot in the notes uh, thread. Thank you. Okay, yep, yeah, that's all the stress. Um, so just mark one. And yes, it as is happening, it sounds like Frey is winning this disagreement uh, marginally. Evangeline is maybe a little hurt. She's by not this. pushing. Yeah. Continue. She's not pushing at all. Um, I think she just kind of was like, she nods. I think that's natural conclusion for her. Like, a, okay, well, um, I'll see you later. Thank you. Yep. See you later. Bye. I'm going to walk, I'll walk off because I think my walk time is coming to an end. So I got to go back to class. Yeah. <laughs> um, Aki, I don't know if you want to do your second one, uh, or if you want if me to. You can go be gay if you want to, because I think yeah, I think <laughs> give you a treat. <laughs> give I think give it, us all gay treats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go be gay because because I was mean. Then afterwards, I <laughs> <laughs> okay, Freya. okay, that sounds so good. I'm already outside of me and Desi's dorm room. Oh, oh no. So I'm no pout still on my face. Uh oh! I hope this doesn't lead into my second downtime. No! It could. Uh, she is gonna go into their room. 
And it is so... She cannot hide a fucking thing. When she's upset, you know she's upset. But also, she... Her emotions are very fickle. Uh, <laughs> so the littlest thing could have upset her, in your experience, Desi. Um, but she is not bouncing into the room. She's very, like, open store slowly. She right. That's it. It's just dragging her little body to to the, her room or to to your our, our like combined living space and just sitting on couch. Yeah, I think uh, I'm sitting in a chair by the window and I have my like my homework like open on my lap and I just kind of look up. She definitely sat close to you. I definitely take note of that. Uh, like if your chair is this one in the picture, she yeah, sat on the on closest the right. edge of that couch. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. And um, it is definitely a very like she's looking at you, waiting for you to be done with something. I I know this look. I know <laughs> I know everything about this girl. And I just yeah, you do. I I set the pen down in my notebook and I flip it closed. What's up? Are you sure you have time? I closed the book, didn't I? Yeah. What's the matter? You promise you're not gonna laugh? Uh, yeah, I promise. And you really have time? You swear? You were, do you were doing your thing in your notebook? Are you sure? I think I can make time for this. She does a little smile. So, I know I'm just overreacting, but I asked Freya to go to a party with us and she said she didn't have time. Uh, Do you think she hates me? I... I think Freya is a I very... I just want to hang out with her. I know. I, I think Freya is a very busy person. Um, you know, she doesn't, she doesn't really talk about her family very much. I don't know, like, what her... I don't really, actually, all this time we've spent together, I don't know all that much about her. I mean, I know what she's into. I know, yeah. like, she likes her side hustles. I know she's, yeah. you know, great at what she does when we go on <clears throat> missions. Yeah. But, you know, maybe, maybe she's got, maybe she's got people that she needs to take care of. No, I just want help. Not everybody's like us, Eva. Not everybody has everything planned out for them. Yeah, but that's the point of being friends, right? Is do you help? I just want to... I don't know how to get through to her to let... I don't know. I want to... I want to help. I want to... Well, she doesn't really talk about that stuff, but I want her to. So I can, you know, be there. For her and help. And I can only do that if I spend time with her, right? Maybe she just needs more time than other people do. I mean... Like Celeste. Yeah, like Celeste. And I mean, you and I have known each other for a long time now, long time. but I wasn't exactly very social when we met, so... No, but you were in your own way. You're much more social than you think you are. Uh, I feel like it's more of a obligation at this point, but... An obligation? I mean, you know me, I'm not super comfortable in social situations. Oh, you're fine talking with me. Ava, we've known each other since high school. We're friends. It's different. There were roommates. 
Right, no, right. It takes some time to uh, open up. I know, I know, it just, I, it's not something I'm accustomed to, and I, I don't know, maybe you know how to, maybe you two are more similar and you can fix it. Well, I don't know if it's something that needs fixing. Maybe she just needs time, but if you want me to talk to her about it, I, I guess I can, you know, if I catch her on a good day. She's so busy all the time, more than me, even. I know, and you're busy, like, all the time. I can barely get your attention. Uh, yeah, just, you know, a lot of studying and, you know, working on figuring out the powers, because there's no user manual. Right. I just find it funny that you haven't figured it out yet. Uh, I mean... I don't mean that as an insult. It's more a compliment, actually. Uh, really? Well, I don't know. You figure everything else out pretty quickly. I just thought you would have... I'm just curious what you doodle about all day. This is where I want to move into my second downtime. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Go on. Go, go ahead. Uh, you can see Desi like bristles at this. Uh, she she does not like that you just said that. Uh, oh. You know, <laughs> figuring out the flow of time isn't exactly easy, Ava. I can't just sing a song and figure everything out. Oh! Damn, all the bitches want to argue with me today. <laughs> she kind of gives you a look. Like a... Oh, she don't talk to me like that normally. <laughs> you know, I... I don't... I don't really appreciate, you know, the joking. This is really hard for me. I didn't mean it that way. I just meant you're so good at everything. I spend all of my spare time working on this stuff because it's difficult. And I haven't figured it all out yet. Can I help? No. I told you already. I'm the only one who can figure this out. Well, maybe you would figure it out faster if you told me. He just kind of looks away for a second. You're being stubborn. <sighs> Which is normally really charming, but it's not right now. You're being mean. You're being distant. And I wish you would just let me help. And she stands. From the couch. You don't have to do everything alone. This time I do. Well, fine then. <laughs> I'm just... Her. Takes deep breath. I'm not trying to be mean. I... But... Sometimes... Feels like I'm the only reason that any of us are friends. Uh, she will I... leave the room. <laughs> I believe she's uh, going to her room. She slams the door. Yeah, Desi, you can roll defy, and yeah. Evangeline can once again resist with sun. Oh, that was brutal. I got a five. I'm sorry, I was uh, <laughs> losing my mind. I'll roll. Um, I would like to use my um extra die that Radical gave me. Thanks, Radical. Thank you, Radical. I know you're watching from bed now, but I'm going to use my die now. A six. Okay. Uh, Evangeline gets three links with Desi. Desi gets one link with Evangeline. And you each get a stress. That tracks. That tracks. Mm. 
I don't like this. What's game. the stress count right now for everyone? <laughs> hey, uh, it's not looking good. I have six stress. I'm at five. Celeste. Oops, I was muted. Uh, I'm just at four. Okay. <laughs> just at four. I believe that is. There's one more left. downtime from um, Evangeline and one more downtime for. No, that was my second. Oh, no, that was your second. Uh, so one more for. Aki has one more. Aki. Freya. Yeah. Is that it? Everyone else is used to? Question. Yeah. Yeah. Does, does have a disagreement count as downtime for both people involved? No. Okay. Whoever initiates it, it counts as downtime for. Freya, what would you like your last downtime to be? Hmm. Um... See, here's my issue. I, I, um, I don't think this counts as a downtime action. Tell me, what, what are you thinking about doing? I want to use a string. You want to use a, a what? Sorry. A, a string or um, a link. Link. To, to do but what? I, I'm, I'm <laughs> to, to go remove two stress from Evangeline. <laughs> oh yeah, that's not I a downtime, three. but you can you can do Bless that. Bless you. Um, you can what? do. Okay. You can use links whenever. I use links but, whenever. Okay. Um, you make some game action to make it make sense narratively. So how would yeah, you that, de-stress Evangeline? Would you like call her up? Would you text her? Would you leave something for her? What would you do to make her mm -hmm. feel better? Um. I would text her and, and be like, oh, I need something. Come outside. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm lying Perfect. in bed. I'm lying in Perfect. bed after just, after just <laughs> yelling with my roommate. I'm already in my jammies. Mm -hmm. Perfectly timed right after your fight. I need something. Come out. She takes a second to respond. Um, no more than five. No more than five minutes. Um, she comes like she could. She just hearts her message to let you know that she's seen it, and um, she comes down in these little satin pink jammies. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Freya um, will like she has. Okay, so I've already established Freya. Um, Freya knits or crochets during her commute. This is a very efficient and smart hobby. Um, so I have tons of leftover um, yarn. Leftover yarn can be many different things from just, it's just excess usually, right? And Freya doesn't put anything to waste. So with the excess, at some point in time, she tries and make little like plushy charms that is stuffed with more excess yarn, by the way. So it's not the cutest thing in the world because she's still practicing these plushies, but um, it's definitely cute in that, oh, it's so ugly, thank you. You know, like one of those So things. ugly is cute, yeah. yeah. What and is it? It is, it, is, it is probably a little strawberry because that is, that's, that's Freya's signature stuff. Um, you will get a, somewhat red to pink tone excess yarn um somewhat red to pick pink tone tiny little strawberry and like the little the little stem parts are also probably multicolored because excess yarn um and it's just it's it's so it's so ugly it's cute and she'll just be like feel better <laughs> put it in your hands he just looks at it this ugly beautiful thing this soft adorably miscolored strawberry that her friend has put so much love into at least that's what she's thinking just like she's so busy and she took time for me to make me this strawberry and she's just staring so intently at it yeah and that's and, how i that's how i spend my time like so you can heal too stress she brings her face up and her eyes are just watering 
no idea how much this means. <laughs> oh, you look like you had a bad time. You want a hug? And she immediately hugs you. <laughs> yeah, uh, okay. You, you get a hug, you get pats on your back, actually. Like, it's okay. So, Freya doesn't like bullshit hugs. Freya's surprisingly a very good hugger. Um, kind this. of like the person who hugs you with their full body. Yes! Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Freya, Freya doesn't actually bullshit when it comes to hugs. You get good hugs out of Freya. She's just not like super enthusiastic, like, oh my god, hugs. That yeah. is that is this that is the, the exact tone you get out of her. Um, <laughs> but 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 you get you get a really you get a good proper it's hug. A good hug. Pat, 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 yeah. She she definitely is like a hug and nuzzle kind of girl, like especially if it's like a good hug. Like it is she is a like someone who hugs tightly and will nuzzle into neck every time kind of hugger. Uh, mm -hmm. so she does that. You can definitely feel her little eyes are wet. Yep, that that's totally fun. But I they're happy hug. tears. Yeah, I let you hug for however long you need to. You get a good hug out of it. You get a shitty strawberry. Um. <laughs> no, it's her favorite thing now. <laughs> You're gonna see this thing. It's going on her backpack. It's going on her wallet, okay? <laughs> yeah. That's going on the wallet, not it's, the it's backpack. It's a good like, little palm size one oh, yeah. as well. So it's, it's yeah, you get, you get a little strawberry. <laughs> she just pulls back. I, this is the most beautiful thing I own. <laughs> oh. Thank you. I oh. know you have no time ever and you made time to make me a strawberry. You're welcome. Thank you. I'm harsh, but I don't, um, I don't dislike you. I feel like you're the type of person who will think I hate you. I don't hate you. I just, I'm just tired all the time. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's not your fault. She doesn't. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> she gives you a little nod, holding her little strawberry and her little jammies. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm gonna let you go back inside now. Uh, you have things to do. Um. What time is it? <laughs> uh, let's say pretty, pretty late evening. What, like 9 p.m. ish at this point? You've all had a busy day. 9 p.m. Night? Yeah. <laughs> She's in her so jammies. I'm... What? I'm fucking out. Oh, shit. No, no, no. I actually got to go home. My, 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 my commute home is like an hour. You sure you don't want to spend the night? Um, I would, but I need to give um my siblings a heads up if I do that. Okay, maybe another night. Yeah, another night. <gasps> okay. We have a big test. I'll spend the night. I'll tutor you. No. Be asleep. No. A sleepover where we just do fun things. Half tutor, half sleepover, fun time. Fine. Okay, I can compromise on that. Mm -hmm, okay. Now I gotta go. Okay, bye! Bye, JJ! JJ goes, woof. And we go, mm -hmm. woof. Woof. <laughs> I realize technically, woof. I realize technically Frank should be JJ, but I just. No, you can, you can be JJ. It's Ow. okay. <laughs> it's perfect. Arf. And he doesn't all. She just is waving on the steps, holding the oh. strawberry mm -hmm. so tenderly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And because it's nine fucking p.m., I'm Pray gonna go. go. I'm gonna sprint. Yeah. Running. Yeah. Yeah. Catch your next bus home. Oh yeah. At least it's not busy. Yeah. Uh, That's true. Would Celeste be out studying at the, at a school library somewhere? Uh, yeah, probably nine o'clock at night. Uh, not a big deal. Uh, <laughs> probably still out. <laughs> Let me. Yeah, you guys like this library, right? Yeah. You are studying classes occasionally. You might open up your backpack, glance around to make sure no one is within 
sitting distance and look at some of the information that you've been researching over the course of this week. Eventually, you hear the slow amble of heels on marble. You glance over and you see a familiar face, uh, and you don't have art of this person. We don't have art of this person. Uh, Momo's wrists can only fall off so many times. <laughs> but this is a person in a pantsuit with glasses, um, upper 20s. Agent Storm of the Arcane Suppression Authority, who is one of the two allocated agents to the university. Oh, Her Lord. hair is pinned up, and she strides over to you and sees you sitting and just sits across from you and folds her hands in front of her. Um, you see Celeste get a little protective of her stuff when this person comes and sits by them. Um, like her hand was like sitting, like resting, resting her head on her hand. And then she looks up and she kind of pulls her work in a little bit and looks at this person. Can, can I help you? That sounds like you were trying to conceal. Would you like to roll conceal? Yeah. Um, I hope I don't look too sus. Um, mm, sus. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to roll conceal. Is it... What's the position? Is it... Uh, this is risky standard. I, yeah, I was thinking. Um... Yeah, no. Uh, I rolled a four and a three. Okay, so dice. that is a failure. Always remember in the future, you can push yourself, take a poison promise, or use that extra die. Agent Storm, die. she just kind of looks at you. She looks down at your bag, looks back up at you. She says, I admire a student this devoted. Well, I appreciate that you noticed. You know, I see you a lot in here really late. I remember you last year. Yeah, um, this place is like a second dorm to me, you know? I kind of, I like to hang out here. I mean, it's really nice, right? So why, who wouldn't want to be here? <laughs> yeah, it's Feral, right? Celeste Feral? Yes, that's me. And what's your major again? Um, it's uh, botany, sciences, something uh -huh. along those lines. <laughs> yeah, I think we decided it was. I can't. I've already forgot. Exactly. I already forgot what it was. It's okay. um, we will but it's something. Honestly. It was something related to biology mm. slash ecology yeah. slash botany. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Okay. Hmm. You know, it's a... Uh, Undeclared. D dangerous subject. Oh, I found it. Oh, Tell it, us. I'm wrong. I, I think the notes were originally philosophy, but I think we changed oh. it later. We changed it. Yeah. We changed it, which um, is okay. Yeah. Uh, dangerous I, subject, Miss Farrell. I mean, I really like nature and she like starts clutching the little rose on her the rose brooch on her uh on her top hmm yes i suppose you do um well if i were you i would uh maybe spend some more time thinking about who you're you know what you don't want to hear the advice of Someone like me. I know you look at me and you hate me. I mean, I've seen you around a lot. And I I get it. Like, you have a job, you know? Like, we're all working for jobs, I guess. And you're just trying to do yours. So I don't... I. I don't care that much, but I don't know. You being here asking me questions, yeah, it's 
I just want to know what you're getting at here. Well, I could be a friend. Maybe. I want to try to suss them out, honestly. I'm, Celeste is very sus right now. As she should be. Well, first off, what is Celeste feeling right now? Or what do you feel um, about what Agent Storm? She's feeling uncomfortable and stressed and um, thinks that she has a, another agenda here. So Roll um, perceive. Yeah. That sounds like perceive. Yeah. Uh, all right. I'm going to add the extra die here um, that Radical gave us. Yay! Uh, bonus dice one. Uh, I got four and a five. Uh, did it not? That's a partial success. Okay, I was gonna say it doesn't say zero dice exclamation point. Um, no, because you have you already have one pip in perceive, oh, so right, you adding right, right. another one would give you two. Got it. Okay. <clears throat> you think she knows more about you than she's letting on, mm. and that she does have. A different agenda. Hmm. Um, and if she knew that I was like, uh, breaking into places and reading contraband. You wouldn't be, you wouldn't be executed for that, but you might okay. be punished for that. Yes. Okay. Um, she, she looks and says, Oh no, you you first because she spoke last. What what do you want to say upon? Um, so she's this? like want to be friends. Um, uh, and is she? She's not a student. She works. No, for she the is actual... an agent of the Arcane Suppression Authority, who essentially are the magical girl Gestapo. Yes, got it. Um, I mean, yeah, if you're gonna be around here a lot, sure. Maybe we can be friends or something. You know, it was really interesting in a city like this that did the right thing. Getting rid of all the cell stones, creating burn crews, cameras everywhere, right? It's for our safety and, you know, someone as smart as you who Seems to know all the right places to find all the right things. I think you might be a useful friend for me to have, too. Yeah. Very useful. Indeed. You know, in fact, I might be able to help cover up a few innocent transgressions i mean academic excellence who can be critical of that right even if it is a forbidden subject if only you know there was something i got out of it too you know what i'm saying miss farrell yeah well what is it that you're looking for well let's just say uh I've got my own little personal bounty list on hmm, very old things related to the blight. You know, maybe I might want to turn in some forbidden contraband at some point, or maybe not turn it in. And she looks at you very intensely and knowingly. Hmm. I see. Well. Um, so. If I, um, question, if I handed over the contraband that I have, do I think she would just let it go? Like, I don't, because Celeste, like, doesn't want to get in trouble, honestly. Perceive. She is kind of a goody two shoes. Okay. Um, she doesn't want to get in trouble. So if like she got caught in the act and this lady's like giving her a chance, like, oh, look, I'll take this off your hands. Let's do it. So like, she would be willing to make that deal. Uh, that's just, yeah, just sharing that. Uh. 
a three. You're not sure. Blah. Okay. Um, uh, all right. Um, look, uh, if I knew where some, you know, personal things like that were or something, like, would you want me to, like, I don't know, give it to you so you can turn it in or whatever, do your job? She smiles and nods. All right. Um, maybe it might be something in one of the bookshelves back that way um, behind a book um, and it might be there like I don't know before the library closes tonight she looks a book no you can keep the book my tastes are more extravagant than that. You find a necklace, a ring, a lamp, a dream catcher, maybe even a gem. Then we'll talk. I see. Um, well... And I will say for you all, in addition to the soul gems, you know just from the grapevine, from your former rivals, from people you've known, there are relics of power in this world that enhance the power of people with soul gems. And she okay. seems to be alluding to that. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's, I mean, yeah, if people are able to find stuff like that, that would be crazy, right? Um, but sure, uh, if that ever turns up, I'll, uh, I'll let you know. She looks over and your phone is vibrating from text messages and she looks, well, that's all I need. You should check your phone. I think there might be something interesting on there. Uh, yeah, my group chat blows up all the time, so uh, it's nothing new. But yeah, I probably should check it. <clears throat> she stands and says, have a good night, Miss Farrell. Uh, good night. Uh, what was your name again? <laughs> I'm literally Tracy Brown. Storm. <laughs> Storm. Lyra Storm. Lyra Storm. Good night, Miss Storm. And she just puts her and walks away. I could fix her. <laughs> sweating. <laughs> sweating. Yeah. yeah. We were all truly. Uh, yeah, <sighs> I think even Celeste takes like a deep like mm. sigh after she mm. leaves because in this current state, like how she is right now, like she does not like to get into trouble like and when she gets in trouble it like makes her nervous and so she was very close to getting in trouble there and it made uh, her very nervous while this was happening all of you except for celeste who was very distracted felt that familiar pull no oh i was knowing, gonna say she got a text from me oh. yes mm -hmm. uh of the blight nearby and on your phone, not only are texts from your friends, which we will get to in a minute, and you can say what you've been texting Celeste, but you have a text from Orion that says, I think you're losing your touch, Celeste. And then you have another one from Leona oh. that says, and it's a group text with all four of you and says, really? I honestly am a little bit disappointed. And the fuck? Uh Desi, what were you going to text Celeste? Uh well I didn't know we were gonna get the poll, so yeah, what before, I was going to say. What were you gonna say? What I was going to say was 
hey, I need to get out of the dorm. Can you, do you want to study at the library or something? Oh, you want to leave? <laughs> um, which I'm already here. So if, yeah. I would text back already here, but yes, if we're getting the poll, um, yeah. that would be a whole different, you know, like already here, dot, dot, dot. Let's, let's figure this out first or something or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And yes, you all feel it. The blight has returned to your hunting grounds. Do you want to pursue it? Do you want to ignore it? I'm going. I'm going. I storm out of my room in my jammies. Yeah. I text. Um, I have a family group chat. Uh, probably with just me and my siblings. I just text them. I'm going to be really late. My first day was super a lot. Um, we should still have leftovers in the fridge unless unless Pfeiffer was like I'm gonna be big now and cooked that's also fine but yeah Freya will remind them that we have leftovers in the fridge excellent whoops don't need that yet you didn't see anything you all <laughs> take so take the trains buses uh, the public transportation in me, the Jeff? city is very good you're able to get yeah. to the city outskirts very quickly together. Uh, you can continue your conversation. Go ahead. No, I was just curious if you're going to travel separately from me because we're in the same room or apartment dorm. Uh, yeah, you see me come out of my room and I'm wearing like different clothes, like hoodie, jeans, like not school clothes. Um, and I feel like we probably walk out of our rooms at the same time, and it's like the ooh, mm -hmm. seeing each other at the same time. She not even gonna change. She's like, I, I don't, I don't need to. <laughs> uh, she just kind of looks at you in your pajamas. silky pink pajamas, <laughs> and it's just what? like, uh, nothing. I... Wait, you want to do it by yourself? No, but those are probably gonna get dirty on the way. Are you Why okay do you that? care? Fine. Never mind. Let's just go. The head. It doesn't take Maybe. you all. Oh, go ahead. Sorry, I keep interrupting. Nope. nope, nope, nope. It's fine. You can continue. It doesn't take you all that long to get to the city outskirts. You agree on a meeting spot and find a place. You've been there many times. Uh, it's actually closer to Freya's part of the city because in Polaris, the wealthy areas are close to the central core of the city along with many of the political and business offices, the good universities. And as you get further out from the city, the quality of life, the income level dips. And Freya lives close to the outside of the city, so she's actually the first one to get there. And you find a spot in the fence, the fence that is 50 feet tall. And you find a hole that you have used many times. And you get there and scri scribbled on a note stuck to one part of the fence. And... Desi, you would definitely recognize the handwriting as collect and says, well, I guess these are mine now. Okay. No, 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 no. Hi, Eli. Yeah. Hi, My Eli. baby wants to say hi. He really came in and said, no, they're mine, actually. Baby, <laughs> cameo. Uh, unfortunately, Baby was not fully dressed, so Baby cannot make a cameo uh, <laughs> another time. Um, <laughs> um, and you get to the outskirts, and you all meet there, and Colette has taunted you as well. Bitch. I just, like, straight up ignore her. I don't say a goddamn word to her. Well, it's just a note that's there. She's not actually still there, but it's just a note oh, that's I thought scribbled. You said she, I thought you said she was there. My no, no, you recognize her fence. handwriting on a note on the fence. Like, she knows that you guys, that you all are on, our way. on your way. Yeah, and I late. ignore the note. Mm. Do Fuck you them. all travel 
to your hunting grounds transcended or are you going as you are? Uh, I'm not going to transcend, yeah. Yeah, I feel like as we are... Question. Okay, yeah. that's fine. I'm going to go hide my bag somewhere, though. Yes. This is my only bag. Um, so, yeah, that's... You that's would definitely always... have a hidey hole. You, you've you used this, <laughs> yeah. you know where to hide and stash stuff for I got later. a Peter Parker this, you know, like... <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. Exactly. Yeah, hidey hole, yeah. Yep. Okay. You all head out... And you head to the forest. It's so pretty. It is so pretty. It is so pretty. And it is time for uh, the engagement roll. Let's go. But unlike our pre-games, which you all know about uh, that we did. Not me. This is, yeah, sorry, Aki. Uh, <laughs> a little different, right? This is not a hunting mission. This is securing your hunting grounds. As your rivals have made it clear that they are here to claim the bounty first. You wander in and Knowing that they are here, and knowing that there are blighted here, how would you all try to find them? But we will first think about that while we do the engagement roll, which will just be 1D, unless uh, any of you have arguments to the contrary. Mm. By default, it is. Well, I think that's no, good. I think that's fine. All right, here, here it is. That is a desperate starting position. Oh, great! Right. Ah. We're starting out great. Love, Love a little that. desperate position. How would you all either find your rivals or find the blighted that they are hunting here? Or what would your strategy be? Let, let's think about it this way. Do you want to find the blighted before them? Do you want to find them and stop them? Do you want to find them and confront them? How are you handling this situation? They have made it pretty clear they are here to take what is yours. We have a dog. Dog smell. Mm -hmm. That's true. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. We can smell them out. So truthfully, I think, and also this dog is also a magical girl. So <laughs> um, I would argue that JJ can smell blight. Uh, so um, it would just be, what do we want to find? And we'd just be like, JJ, go. Probably, I would say the Blighted. We'd want to get there first, but I guess my question is for you, Frank. Mm -hmm. Should I assume, well, it, has this encounter happened before for me? Oh, that's oh. a good question. Like, Don't would I like know, that. Would Don't I know, like that. Would I know where... I believe this is great. Thank you, because this is a good lesson for everyone. I believe... On your gather info, yep. you have. Yeah. What do what I it, remember about X slash what? Yeah. What do it, I? Yeah. What do I remember about this day? And I will say to that, uh, roll analyze to find okay. out. That's a six. Okay, so you get two questions and a follow up. So, what do you remember about this? You remember that the last time that this happened, you found them and confronted them, and Andromeda got pissed at Evangeline, and it further strained their relationship, and Evangeline was devastated. Okay. Um... Mm. And you did not beat them there. Okay. Uh, what happens if I guide them towards the blight instead? Do I think we'll make it first this time? Uh, 
Let me fortune roll that. Because it's what might happen if I X. Yeah. Like, what if I direct us towards the Blight instead of the other team? Let me fortune roll. You do think that you would have beaten them there if you ignore them and just go for the heart. Okay. And, and then, then I have one last one? A follow-up about the last part. Oh, follow-up about the last part? Yeah. What, defi what defies the flow of time here? Other than me, of course. You don't know how Freya will react to being challenged by this group of rivals. Hmm. Okay. And it's just like Freya is an anomaly. Mm -hmm. Leona existed in the other timelines. Mm -hmm. She did not have a soul gem. Oh. Okay. Uh, I kind of turn to everybody else and I say, listen, it's it's just going to slow us down if we seek them out. Let's just look for the blight. I think it'll be better if we just focus on the job at hand instead of all this petty bullshit they keep trying to drag us into. What do you think? I agree. We should just find it. Yeah. Word. Um, I'm gonna look at JJ and just be like, find us the blight. I can't hear Frank. Oh, you're muted, Frank. Sorry, oh. <laughs> I muted. Uh, baby was jumping upstairs. Um, this is gonna be desperate, but I'm gonna give you an extra die because I think your point of JJ's sense of smell making sense, so you can roll perceive with a bonus die. Me, I'm rolling? Yes, you are rolling. So you can roll perceive with a bonus die, so it'll be 2D. But this is going to be desperate, and I will say great. The danger wow. is you, if you get run astray, you could get ambushed. Or even if you find it, you could still be ambushed. Um, but JJ is it's great because JJ is very good at finding Blighted. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, okay. That's 2-5, so... Partial success. Let's go. JJ takes off and runs through the forest. And yeah, JJ... Unleashed, literally. Yeah, literally unleash and goes. And you actually have a hard time keeping up. You can see JJ, but you're sprinting after JJ trying to keep up. All of you are running through the forest and you eventually do start hearing the creepy sounds in a quiet grove. There's a canopy that's shielding from the stars and the moon. It's dark here. JJ gets very nervous as he approaches. And you all, because of the run and in your fury to, flurry to keep up, um, I would like uh, Freya to take level one harm tired because you have had to keep up and follow JJ and lead the rest of the group there. But you start to hear the blighted around and you, from experience, know that the heart is somewhere in or around this grove. And you, so far, don't see your rivals anywhere. What do you all want to do? Question. Mm-hmm. Our special abilities don't kick in unless we're transcended, right? Or your do... your normal special abilities do, but your transcendent ability will only um, come in if you're transcended. But your your you don't have to feel it. That kicks in no matter what. Yeah. 
So you won't actually get a penalty from the level one harm, if that's what your question is. That That is what my question is, yeah. Yes, correct. So you can treat the level one harm as though you do not have harm. Yeah, that's 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 cool. what I wanted to, to double check on. Yep. I'm tired, but like, like I said, I'm tired all the time. I just sweating a little bit. I, I sound like I walked up too many flights of stairs. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Be like that, you know? I wish I had my bag, because my bag has my water bottle. You know, things like that. She need her water. But what do you all want to do? Um, yeah. We sense the blade, but we don't see it. Yes, you hear it, but you do not see it. Hear you it? You can hear it lumbering what is it somewhere. Sound? Oh, okay. A lumbering sound and a creaking sound in the darkness, almost like an old log that's oh. been rolling around in a storm. Hmm. I can... I can draw it to us, I think, if you want. But it's gonna draw him to us. Well, let's get ready then, I suppose. Okay. Um, I, uh... I actually don't Steve. need... I don't need to transcend to do this. Um, I don't. Yeah, no, it's just under special ability. Okay. Um. This kind of isn't the ability, but I, I think it'll achieve the same effect. Uh, perfect pitch. Uh, mm -hmm. Your voice is polyphonic and eerily beautiful. Um, it's supposed to inspire, but I'm not gonna. Actually, I will transcend. I think if I'm gonna draw them to us, we should probably transcend. Yeah, I think it's. I think it's. It's time. time. Do you all I want to time, briefly actually. describe your transformation? We'll start with. Oh uh, we'll start with Evangeline because you are doing this action first. Please describe yes. your transcendence. Um. So, she will kind of like as she said this says this. Um. They've probably maybe done this once or twice before. Of like maybe in times before where they couldn't quite pinpoint where the blight was, so they draw them out with her voice. Like, kind of like, hey, haha, we're making a lot of noise in the woods. Um, so she will casually start to kind of do um, almost a vocal warm-up of sorts and start to uh, raise her voice, and it starts to get unnaturally loud. Um much louder than a normal human could project their voice, and it starts to ring around these woods, um, hopefully to draw them in towards us. And as she does, she kind of, her feet come into like a point, like a ballerina's might, and she will step, each step she takes, she kind of lifts a bit to where she is floating in the air, and little, like the, uh, I should have looked into uh, what this is called, but the, uh, when you're reading sheet music, the actual, you know, things that it sets on. Mm -hmm. The stanzas? The, yes, the stanzas, like those long lines. Mm -hmm. She'll start stepping on top of those. Ooh. Um, and notes will kind of follow her feet that follow, like match what she is singing. Um, and they will glow a bit. She will um, do a pirouette and she will transform into symphony. As she calls out in a very high pitch to hopefully bring the blight into them, towards them. Celeste, would you like to describe your transformation? Man, um, yes. Um, so Celeste uh, will take a moment um, and you watch her close her eyes uh, and touch the ground below her and feel like the soil and feel the grass and feel everything. And you see kind of a bit of a vibration in the ground. Um, you see maybe some of the gravel moving a little bit. Uh, and she uses that to kind of make a swirl and pull the ground up and you see her transform. Um, there's kind of like stars uh, in a celestial way surrounding her and uh, like 
from the earth to the heavens, um, it just kind of shines down and uh, she transcends. Oh, I gotta fix the position. Uh, Desi, would you like to describe your transcendence? Yeah. Um, so Desi pulls from, uh, as you can see in her mundane form, she's got like a little chain. That's not for a wallet. She actually pulls out um, a pocket watch and she clicks it open. And when she does like all of this, like these celestial like charts and um, clock faces kind of appear almost like holograms in the air around her as she shifts and the kind of stars from that form into like this cloak that she's wearing. And she's also got um, like wings and a staff that seems to form from, um, from the pocket watch itself. And now so she is Eon. Oh, yeah. Uh, and Celeste is now Prismara. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And Freya, would you like to describe yours? Yeah, so when... Um, when... Uh, Symphony was doing uh, her, her singing thing and it was getting loud and louder, <laughs> Freya went down, like, kneeled down just to, like, cover JJ's ears. <laughs> for, for how loud it gets. Um, as, as she kind of finishes, for, uh, we'll look and just be like, hey, that's our cute. Give him a big old kiss. And then just, um, they will take a very, like at a dog show, it is a very pointed strut. Every step seems to break the earth a little bit as this hot pink, dark shadow kind of crawls up her skin from the feet and same thing with jj jj gets dyed um to a very nice dark purple black and um their their um uh sir their service vest uh disappears and it's completely safe so we don't have to pay for a new one um and and uh and, but jj looks jj looks like not scared like ready this <laughs> we went from service dog to attack dog um, all at once. Um, whereas uh, Freya, Freya gets, um, you kind of see the shadows kind of bend around her legs uh, as if to break them into something more akin to what a dog's legs look like. And then she just stomps it and it becomes a platform heel boot. Like, cut that shit out. Um, and she does mm -hmm. it with both. You see her like straight up flip, like whip her arm out. So that way the, tra the transformation is taking too long. So she's making it go faster. She doesn't have time for this. Um, you see her pull the beret out of fucking nowhere when she goes to take off her scrunchie and just bam, beret, boom. Little little ears on the beret. And like as her hair falls and you get to see how long it actually is, these like pink highlights sort of like just start staining it wherever they'd like. And, and Freya becomes watchdog. And we're going to take a very protective stance in front of the group because <laughs> that's where our strut was going. And as <laughs> Symphony lets out this cry, you hear a horrible primal scream from further within the forest. And you see, I need the right music for this. Let's see. I think this will work. Yeah. Yeah. This lumbering, it looks like a giant tree, old, decrepit, with spores coming off of it that now suddenly just go shooting into the air as miasma is now surrounding you all. And wind, seemingly from out of nowhere, whips around. And this giant tree with trees for legs and arms, 10 feet tall, comes sprinting right at symphony it seems enraged by your presence and it looks like it's going to charge straight into you you have a moment to react before it comes what do you all do it's going to hit her straight on if you do nothing uh, um 
I would like to try to find something in the environment to block its path, like a tree. Um, I want to try to swoop over to a tree and knock it down um, to block the path. Okay. Uh, we'll go in kind of anyone else want to take action at the same time. Can I help yes. with what Prismara is doing? I have a combo idea. Okay. Ooh. Um, if you are looking for something to block the path, uh, tell me how magical we can get here, Frank. Your imagination uh <laughs> is the limit. But I will say the more difficult it is to conceptualize and perform, the worse the position. But you're already at desperate, so it can't get yeah, much worse. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um, but it might be... See... Uh, sorry, continue, continue. Sorry. Um, if I see Prismara looking around, she'll just... Mm -hmm. hey, can you uh, help me with something? And she's going to kind of maybe out of a... From her skirts, she's going to pull... Um, I believe someone in chat said they're called staffs. Mm -hmm. Stanzas we were talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I will kind of almost pull them off of my skirt and stretch them into netting. Oh. Ah. To uh, will oh. you take the other side and pull it with me? Yes. Maybe you can... And she'll kind of... Gesture to the star, like the stars floating around you. Maybe you can reinforce with those. She looks at, like, I don't know if you could do that, but it, at the very least you can pull with me so we can stretch these like, these staffs around some trees to like form some, ne some netting to like trip it or something. Got it. So you're basically going to sidestep. You're going to hand her one end and you're going to try to trip it as and we're it's gonna running pull. at you. Yeah. 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 Awesome. That's my thought. So uh, to me, this sounds like Defy from Celeste and Evangeline, you can assist to do that, awesome. to give her an extra die. But I believe you take a stress for, or sorry, I said yeah. Evangeline, Symphony and Prismara. Prismara, it's going to be Defy uh, and Symphony, you'll be assisting. So you'll take a stress and this will be a transcendent action for Prismara. Um, it's going to be desperate, but I'm going to say standard effect. So with her assist, you'll get 2D total. 2D, 2D. Got it. We mark a pip in transcendence now, right? No, you only do that once you take a transcendent action. Okay. Uh, a de desperate position. I rolled two twos. <gasps> oh, gosh no, dang it. Oh, the was so good. <laughs> So you remember, you can resist, and tell me if you would like to resist this. Think, you do yeah. this. You pull Use it. your well, little let me, stars let me, to resist. Let me describe what happens, and you can decide if you want to resist. You do this. You see her step out of the way, but the creature, it sees what's happening, and it avoids being tripped up, and instead it makes a last-minute correction and just barrels into Evangel Sorry, into Symphony. Symphony, I need you to take... Level three oh, harm. Oh shit. Uh, and I'm gonna call three. it bruised ribs. I we all had were able to react. Could I have used my reaction? Now would you like to resist that? Yeah. <laughs> and also, uh yeah, you're asking Not about this, Aki. Quick. There is a you can resist for them and take the harm for them and try to lessen it if you want. That is always a mechanical thing you can do in this game. I want to do that. Because I did say I was standing in front. Yes, of course. So you uh, can. So you want to step in and stand. make contact with it instead, realizing that this plan is not going to work. Mm -hmm. So you may resist this instead. Please make a resistance roll. Hang on, I need to see what... Stat the hell you need do to I do that? I've never had so to do I will this tell you in a moment, uh, because... <laughs> This is different from Blades. Um, give me a moment. Resist, 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 resist. If anyone finds it before, oh, I see it. There it is. Resisting consequences. You will resist with sun. Violence and fear is how you resist. So um, roll a okay. run, roll sun. Okay. I'm going to use that extra die. Okay. And, extra and so if you don't remember how resistance <laughs> works, you'll take stress equal to six minus whatever you roll, and then the harm will be reduced in some way. 
five. Okay. I'm just getting fives today. So you will this take one time. stress, and as this thing is barreling in, you make contact and shove it away. But as you do, you go flying to the ground. Um, please take level two harm. Um, the wind knocked out of you. That becomes one. Should I, I be taking don't. any harm? No, you take no harm because Watchdog, Watchdog has stepped me. in and taken it for you. You, like... Flinch, realizing that, oh my, I could have just died. Um, and now I will say, all of you know, these blighted exist to protect the hearts. If it came from that direction, there's a good chance that the heart is in that direction. The creature itself goes down to, the, to its knees and is slow to get up. You have either a moment to try to attack it, or perhaps this is a moment where you could go for the heart and try it to destroy it or cut it open. I am going to, when I see this happening and I see that it's struggling to get up, I say, go for the heart. And I'm going to shift the flow of time so I can move faster. Okay. Um, so I'm going to activate um, probably like, probably like, I would imagine like solar plexus chakra would be appropriate for this because it's my core. I'm moving like everything faster. I need to reinforce that in order to keep moving. So I'll activate the yellow clock on my solar plexus chakra and I will basically shift. Like I can always see the flow of time in this form. So I'm going to shift it so that I can basically like lightning shot in that direction towards where I think the heart is. So you're just booking it. Yep. So I warn them ahead of time, though. They know what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, flow is the most similar skill to what you were describing. Yeah. Um, so would you like to push yourself or take a poison promise? Uh... Or would you like to use that extra die you were given by uh, Radical? Uh, remind me what I get if I push my... I get an extra die if I push myself and I take what? A stress? Two stress. Too stress. Also, this is a magical girl game, but always remember, if you think of one, you all have flashbacks too. Just throwing it out yeah. there. Not that you right. have to, but remember that that uh, is a thing. I will, I'll push myself. Okay. Mark it down and roll your 1D. Yep. That was really bad. I rolled a one. Sweet. Um, we will get there in a moment. What are the rest of you yeah. doing? Are you also following Eon? Or are any of you attacking? Or are you all just rushing for the heart? I think I would follow suit and rush for the heart. Um, I see her like moving and like I see her like suddenly vanish like the weird timey-wimey stuff uh, that Aeon <laughs> does. Um, but I am going to, hmm, what am I going to do? You see uh, Celeste kind of float um, when she's in her transcendent form. She doesn't really hit the ground. Um, so she kind of Prismara floats, floats around. Oh, yeah, Prismara. Um, you see Prismara float uh, over and um, grab some stars from her dress and just try to, like, slice into it to go for the heart. Okay, we will get there in a moment. And who else? Watchdog What is Watchdog and... doing next? Uh, yeah. That I think that's gonna decide if, yeah, I'm, I will get up and see what she does first. Mm. I have a question for my transcendent ability. Mm-hmm. Can you now, bring it, it up? Does say when someone it does say I could, when I, if I were to strike back against someone. You do get plus one strength. effect, yes. Yes. Do they? Do, does my does my um, friend have to have the harmed condition no. at all, or is is just you attempted and and it's time? I think this qualifies. Yes. Okay. Cool. All I I think narratively, um, Watchdog is pretty sure she can catch up. Um, especially in this in in this form mm -hmm. so what she's going to do instead is take care of the the threat in front of her to also give everybody else more time in theory to get to the heart 
So you're gonna help. Um, you're gonna help Eon attack, or not Eon? You're gonna help um, Prismara attack this thing and hold it back, basically. Yeah, I think it makes sense. Plus, I get I get the plus one effect yeah. to okay. attacking it. Yeah. What is Harmony going to do? Her, Symphony, sorry, you are the Harmony. What is Symphony going to do? So, thank you for the donation, thank Holly. Thank you for the donation, Holly. Uh, 32, Thanks, Holly. so a, one die for everybody. Okay. So we all have one more di I think we all used our 1D from Radical at I this point. I haven't. So. I haven't. Oh, okay. I do now. Mandy hasn't. Uh, okay. So Mandy has 2D, and we all just got another D. Thank you. Thank you, Holly. Um... Symphony will. <laughs> so we have. Aeon. Aeon has uh, told us to. Um, go for the heart. Go for the heart. Does that mean you're staying behind? No, Aeon already booked it. Okay. Prismara's going towards heart, yes. Watchdog staying. Watchdog is staying. She will look to you like a. You good? Do you want my help? Oh, I'm good. It gives you like a, okay. Very unsure, like little step back and will um, kind of uh, long stride her way uh, through the air after the other two. Okay. So at the same time, uh... Prismara, you are throwing stars into this thing. Yes. Uh, Defy, perhaps? Yeah, let's okay. try Defy. And I believe same for Watchdog. It is probably also Defy. Um, for Celeste, this is going to be, um, I'm going to say Desperate Standard. Uh, okay. And for Watchdog, this is going to be Desperate Great because of your ability. Um, and can I push myself? You absolutely can. Okay. What do I do for push myself, like, in this? Uh, you can just, I, I don't know if you can do it as you're going through the menus, so just do do it first and, and see what okay. it asks you. I think it asks for bonus die, and then oh. just add the two stress. Um, I did roll a five. Um, okay, partial success. Watchdog, what did you roll? I rolled a six plus one, so seven. <laughs> oh, no, the, the plus one is for the effect, not for the die roll. Oh, plus for the effect? Okay, great. Because yeah. I was like, I don't even know what that means. Um, so, yeah, six then. Awesome. Uh, well, the combination, the you just wail on this thing, and you can crack it open. Uh, and you get to remove a stress thanks to your ability. Mm -hmm. um, I, got, um, I got a thing for this. And Prisma... Prismara, you slice it open, but as you are doing this, it recoils and then sends spores in your direction. Please take uh, level one harm as the miasma is closing on you and suffocating you. Um, take level one harm. Uh, okay. I guess we'll say um, difficulty breathing. Ooh. Meanwhile, um, Evangeline... Or sorry, uh, I'm gonna have to get used to the symphony. Um, I know, right? It's gonna be hard. Please, names, yeah. uh, I believe that uh, flow makes the same thing. Could you please do flow also? And it will be desperate standard for you to keep up and race to the heart. Okay, let me do flow. And also for every one of these actions, please mark a transcendent action on your sheet. Remember, once you hit four, you're just a plain you're old girl in tight oh, clothing. Oh, right. It's only if we take the specific transcendent ability, right? No, anything you do while transcended. Oh, okay. right. So yeah, I so we gotta do this mark quick. So I do mark a pip now, okay. Yeah, anytime you use an ability while transcended, yes. Um, My flow roll is a three. Okay. Eon, mm. you get That's to the heart yep. and you see it and you're like, you feel this internal wonderful feeling as you see so how close you are. Mm -hmm. And unbeknownst to all of you, I have a secret clock that I've been filling, which was the rival's catch up. 
Oh, right. Forgot about them. You awesome. were slowed down because of the blighted that you attracted, and then you failed mm -hmm. your flow roll to race there. Mm -hmm. And as you turn, Eon, you see... This bitch. This bitch. All These four hosts. of them walking over, and Andromeda says... I believe that's mine, Desi. And we will leave off there for tonight. Oh. Oh! I oh, hope you shit. all have enjoyed oh. session one of Eclipse oh, Hearts. Hate me for killing your sister. <laughs> uh, thank you all so much for joining us. Please join our Discord, discord.gg slash magirpg to find out when all of our games are. Um, please also make sure to tune in to, I need to bring it up. Where is it? Where is it? Where is Friday. it? Friday! Um, Friday, Heart of the Pack is going to be on, uh, hey. with our very own Magitech, Tracy, jamming it. Right. How is that? Wings fly, it's all... The trailer was playing. Uh, <laughs> oh. I just muted it. Um, <laughs> we'll be jamming that. Um oh. That's going to do it for us. We will be back next week with episode two, and you will find out what happens when the crew has to face their rivals and how they will resolve this. But that is it. Thank you all. Um, you're all wonderful. We love you. Have a great night, everyone. Bye. Good night, everybody. Good night. Play the trailer so again. Play the trailer back. again. We are crashing down again Pieces of love, it's all right Scattered in mud, it's all right You're giving me a lie again And tell me what you want this time